Greetings, Beaverkin, and welcome back to Spatterdock Shallows. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we have much to do today. So, one of the things that I kind of tiny bit forgot about, completely my fault, is um, <laughs> a couple of people mentioned this that this giant reservoir here is not connected to this smaller reservoir, whereby we have lots of pumps. We need to fix that. And what, after we fix that, we're going to get to the stories of our beavers. Uh, so we need to go down a few levels. And, and in fact, what we probably could do is just delete a few of these wheels here. And we need to remove some of this stuff here. So what we have here, let's just go down a couple of layers is we have these solid blocks. We really need to not have those right there because those are what are preventing the water from getting from here to there. They do absolutely need to be connected. And thank you for reminding me. A few people mentioned that actually. And that is absolutely necessary to fix. So let's fix that. Let's fix it. Yes. We don't need a lot of stuff. We don't need a huge pathway. We just need a tiny pathway, in fact. It doesn't have to be big. We want to put this at the very edge of things. Uh, and the reason for that, of course, is because um, we want to have as much flow as possible for these water wheels. So we're only going to replace the sections that need to be replaced with platforms. So these, and this is going to be the areas that the water wheels will sit on. Uh, this area doesn't need to be changed at all. I know it's going to look probably strange, but it's okay. Now then, uh, how did that... Was I... Huh? Confusion question mark? Hello? I don't know what happened here, but apparently we need to put in a an intersection. Wait, are we... Oh, we just don't see it. That's interesting. Maybe it's because this is on ground and that's on blocks. I bet that's the difference. Okay. So now we have a pathway that goes through here for the water to collect and enjoy itself and have a good time. So, so there we go. No need to worry any longer. We're fine. It's all dandy and delightful and all the things. And that will give us access the whole time. Now we might have an issue once we get to this part, if we want to continue our wheel run, maybe we, we make this trough a little bit longer. I don't know. Hopefully we'll have dynamite by then. Um, somebody mentioned that I don't have to delete these things. And I think that's probably a good idea. Let's see if we can just add levees here. Now, one of the thing is, let's see, this is an open path here. So we don't have levees blocking this side. We might need to delete some of the levees there. I don't know. We'll have to just check, I guess. Um, now, we do have a tiny issue here. And I'm looking at this right now. And I think what we do here is we're going to take off this. We're going to pause all of these guys. Because I think what we have here is a very inaccessible area because this is too wide. It's not just one wide. So they need to actually get down here via some stairs. So let's put some stairs down here so that they can work on this area. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's going to happen. Over here is okay. All right, and here we were working on a levee this away. I would love to do like a suspension bridge over here, but it isn't functionally what we want. So we're going to put in a levee, not a dam, but a levee right there. And that is going to have a pathway so that our beavers can carry water that way. And yeah, and it'll work. It's another connection this away so that these water, uh, water pumps can fill these tanks, which are going to be over here. Um, if this one fills up. Okay, so there we go. We now have new stuff for our beavers to do. Hooray! Happy days are here again. And the other thing we were looking at is, do we need more water pumps? Maybe. The other thing is we have many unemployed beavers. And guess what? We have many things to do over here. So I'm going to move some folks to District 5. We do have some logs in this particular drop-off point. I don't know if they are able to access that or not. Let's go ahead and get this road connected here to that and see if they can reach those areas. Yes, they can. All right. So this is going to be fun times. So right now we have water outflowing only in those squares and over here as well. 
All right, so we're going to move four beavers here, but we also need to get some beavers at, uh, let's, let's connect this drop-off point and add a couple of beavers there and do new district thingy majingies. All right, let's go, uh, to do, 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 do new route here. We want, what do we have? We have lots of, I think, I think that's potatoes. I think it's potatoes. I don't think it's bread. All right, here, take carrots. How about that? <laughs> we knew we have carrots. All right, then we need logs. Logs, and ironically, we need water. We need water too. <laughs> Even though there's water everywhere, it's water everywhere. Okay, there we go. And we'll make sure that this place does have good limits for these things. All right, carrots and logs and water. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there we are. We have all the things. Um, we're just going to move some beavers over there. Migrate to District 5. Yep, that's correct. We'll do four because we only have four open positions. So we'll send them over there. All right. Uh, do we need to do anything else before we get to story time? I don't know. I think, let's see, nobody's here. That's just fine. That is paused completely. I think we might be good to go. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's pause, let's unpause here and... We have a story, first of all, that originates in these chestnut trees. That is the wrong thing. Hold on just a moment. As I, uh, yeah, sorry about the wrong comment there. I, sometimes I go through the comments and there are so many good ones. I put in one and then I'm like, oh no, wait, let's do a different one. I can't feature them all during the videos. Um, well, hopefully we'll get a lore video soon, but um, today we are featuring... I think a new person who is writing to us, Nina G or Nia G. I was stretching up to reach a chestnut thinking I might climb up the tree when I noticed a small beaverling hovering behind me. Thinking she might just be hungry, I dropped a chestnut and continued working. Although the youngling took the snack, she did not skitter away with the prize. Instead, I felt her hug tugging on my tail. Auntie Maroni? With an internal sigh, I turned from my work. What is it, small one? Auntie, will you explain? The youngling paused to consider which of the endless questions plaguing her mind were the most dire while nibbling on the chestnut. Will you ex explain why the water sometimes goes away? Why doesn't it like us? Have we been bad? Have I been bad? Can we make the river like us and come back? And why are the engineering beavers making uh, the water stay if it wants to leave us? Is I took a deep breath. This was more than I could deal with while working. This needed to be addressed. I crouched down, stroked the little quivering whiskers to calm her down. Those are really good questions you're asking, little one. Am I the first one you've asked? The little beaver leaned into me. I thought Tom would have answers, but he's so busy thinking all day. But you can talk to me while you're working, auntie. While I could work and talk, I felt ill-equipped to explain the world to her while also doing my part in ensuring the colony is fed. But I sat down to answer her questions as best I could. We will need to talk at the fireplace about this. We need someone who can help beaver kind deal with the existential travails, young and old alike. We need a temple and a priestess of the sacred water. If we want our younglings to grow up to be healthy and happy beavers, we will need to think further than the next drought. I'm sure the others will agree. I'm sure they would. Thank you so very much for your thoughts. We really appreciate that. Um, and then, let's see, we have another note from Chestnut. I don't know where Chestnut hangs out, but I think probably all over the place. Chestnut was frustrated. He had been trying to construct the miniature houses for the kids to play with their dolls with, but things hadn't been going well. The small size of the pieces meant a whole lot of fiddly work, and he just could not see well enough to get the details right or to fit pieces together without breaking them. So he'd left his workshop and had spent a few days wandering along the water's edge trying to think of a solution when he spotted something glinting in the pool they were working on turning into a reservoir. Oh, I have a cat. Okay, Emma has arrived. Listen to her purr. Uh, climbing down into the shallow waters, he made his way to the glinting object, which turned out to be a flattish piece of glass. 
Rubbing it against his fur, he cleaned off the dirt and detritus that was clinging to it and held it up. To his surprise, not only could he see through it, what he could see appeared much closer than it actually was. A slow grin spread across his lips as he thought that this was exactly what he needed in order to continue his work. But the smile soon faded as he continued to think. He vaguely recalled talk of observing the stars at night and wondered if this piece of glass might also be a key in doing that as well. With a will, he set to searching all through the water, but to no avail. Of course, the waters weren't going to just magically give him another one. But setting his frustrations aside, he climbed back up onto dry land and headed back to his workshop, where he continued his tinkering until nightfall. Staying late enough to where he was sure the researchers had gone home, he left his little corner of the back of the warehouse and made his way to one of the empty research huts, quietly slipped inside, quickly penning a message in messy writing that said, I found this in the water. I think it might help in researching how to properly observe the stars. And beside it, he left the strange piece of glass before heading out and making his way home. You know, I think Chestnut has a fantastic idea. I think that um, we might look into a, a observatory, which is now located, as you will notice, in the science menu. Now, I have read in the patch notes that it is it takes four beavers to work here, and they produce five science, which is great. It also needs, uh, it needs energy, as you see. They cannot just make lattes swirling them around with these sort of like Da Vinci helicopter things. So that is something that we can work on. And I think that might be a really good thing. So that's good. We have that set uh, out in our thoughts. Now, the other thing I was looking at, and I really want to do, is some leisure things. We have a Lido, which could be fun. We also have the temple, which, we, of course, we need to have some priests and priestesses in the temple working things. Um, praising the KOS, of course. <laughs> we also have a mud bath, which I want to get to. I think we can afford the Lido. Let's get one of these or maybe several so that they have some fun stuff. This is such a cool little building. Wait, how do we work this? Hello? Uh, hello? Does this, like, need... A platform okay I'm very confused by how to make this thing um oh oh hello 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 my kitten what are you doing okay kitten is sniffing things all right I think we might need something like this aha there we go we need something like oh oh okay kitten is standing in my arm hello greetings Yes, okay. Okay, you can settle down, my pet. Feel free, feel free. Uh, all right. <laughs> so, oh my god, the cat is being funny. Cat is being funny. Uh, so we need a sort of two by three area where we can uh, access this place. So let's do it. Let's get that. Maybe we put it right here. No, that's not good because we have these floodgates here. I don't know if that would work very well. We could have it over here, though. We could have it on both sides of the over here. That could be good. Let's see, what is this, three across or four? I think it's four, I think it's four. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's get four, one, two, three, four, and another four on this side. Whoopsies, something interesting happened there. Leisure, and get a Lido. Yeah, they definitely need some place to put the chairs and all that. So that's important. We can have our beavers hanging out in their swimming pools over here. They don't cost very much to make, so it's just going to be the planks. And of course, we have much plank making going on right now. Now, what I think I would like to do, we definitely need to get these, uh, these things done. They are on priority. So I also want to put on... Let's see. How do we want to do the rest? I think we can do... Let's see, I want to do these things on medium priority. All of these things in the bottom as well. And I want to put these on low priority, this area here, because I don't think we need it. I'd rather have them do this part first. Uh, all right, and how is this going? Are they are they building stuff here at all? I don't know if they actually have any building materials. Let's see, they've been given logs, so they have logs to work with there. How much energy are we generating right now? All right, we have... 
There it is. Jeez, it's really hard to see through my glasses, by the way. Uh, they are like, I haven't gotten my new ones yet, so they're like perched on my nose at a very weird angle and all this stuff. But hopefully tomorrow I shall get some, get them. Uh, all right, so we have this stuff going on. That's good. We can also put more more beavers in the hauling post. That will help us a fair bit. Let's just open that up completely. And of course, we have a lot of inventors working. Now, I'm kind of tempted to get the, the observatory. Uh, and maybe we should get to that now. But before we do, we do have a story from Tomas, who I fancy probably lives around here. So let's see what he's on about. Cycle 6, day 12. I ventured out to see Tomas and continuing the tradition of bringing him new foods, I brought him chestnuts. He thanked me for them, but something was clearly on his mind. I convinced him to spill the latte, as I've heard the older beavers say. His mind was on a nursery of moles he tried to save when Ruins Deep made good on its name. I tried to convince him that he did the best he could, but I don't think Iron Teeth and Folktale think in quite the same way when it comes to bad memories like that. Still, he seemed to welcome my company, but I could get no stories out of him this day. Instead, he gave me a gift, a bit of limestone, nipped and napped and polished in the shape of the great white pointer. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> he told me to keep it at my bedside so that I could always remember the yay is real. Aww. I should study it more, but it made me wonder if those moles to ask, would KOS watch over them and guide them as well? I voiced this thought to Tomas, and he didn't know, but he said he hoped so. It was then, as I rose to leave, that an idea came to me. What if Tomas went back to the south of Ruins Deep and looked to see if the spared moles made it somewhere safe to call their own? Tomas didn't jump on the idea, but said he'd take it into consideration. And then, of course, we have one more story that is related. Day five of searching for the legendary boogeyman deliverer. I have come upon a cove, a cave, a cave. I spent the last night looking over it and I think that I saw movement. As I was making my approach, I saw a small garden outside the cave. The garden had weedy looking carrots and mushrooms that I could not recognize growing in it. I heard some faint noises coming from the cave. I gathered all my courage and swung my cape. The changes made to it by inventor Zirikoi served me well as the cape caught air and was flapping in a spectacular way. Hear me, deliverer. The days of putting little beavers in a backpack are over. Know that the League is watching and we are everywhere. I announced with my most commanding voice. There was silence after that. Then I saw a glimpse of what I presumed to be a claw. I did not get a good look, for I found myself running for my life. My heart was pounding like never before. I jumped into the river and used my bark-reinforced cape to escape. I cannot wait to tell everyone how I saved them from the deliverer. <laughs> Mr. Tux, the League of Extraordinary Weavers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I like this story. This is very nice. Yes, very nice. Oh my god. Okay, beavers, we, we we need more. We definitely are needing much more in the way of these water things. So let's go, 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 beavers. So we have uh, six gears, which is not a lot. We definitely want to... I'm really actually worried about the amount of water that we have here. It isn't much. How are we doing on these dam projects? The, the beavers are delivering wood, it looks like. They have quite a long way to go from the builders or the town center, so. Oh, are they are they taking stuff from here? No? Oh, they're building this? Nice, okay. Okay, wow, this road reaches all the way that way. That's impressive. Oh, well then, gosh, thank you everyone for your wonderful comments. And also thank you everyone for your uh, your kind wishes and hopes that I'm um, feeling better and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm feeling it. My arm is a tiny bit better, uh, but mostly these glasses are just driving me crazy. It's really difficult to see and it's just, yeah, not, not an ideal situation as you might imagine. But um, things are getting better. Things are getting better. Yay. So anyway, we're going to try to to proceed with stuff. It does look like we're having a good run over here. We have two campfires, which is very nice. And I think, let's see, we have a bunch of stuff going on over here. I'm wondering if we can 
by any chance. We could put, oh yeah, we're going to put a beaver statue there, I think. We could unlock that, maybe. Let's see. I really want to unlock, let's see, what does the beaver statue give us? Let's see. Let's see. Social life, aesthetic. Beaver statue is none. Wow, no. What? So aesthetics are zero? That can't be right. Effects. Hold on. Oh, they changed something here. Growth speed. Maybe there. there's nothing left. Wow. And the observatory is, is weird as well because I read that they changed that to be just science points and not anything else. I'm very confused by these things. This is very strange to me. Carousel, growth speed. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter if we have decorations then. That's weird. I is unhappy about that change. That That's not good. I don't like that at all. All right, life expectancy stuff. Okay, we have we have more buildings, of course. Oh wait, let's 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 carefully remove buildings. So this one, oh, they can't get in there yet. Darn it. Okay. That's gonna be an issue. We need to build the staircases up there, but we need to get the water first, I think. So they are working on this water pump, which is great. We need to have more beavers working here. Let's see, we're at 700 water, which is good, really good. But it's important that we get this water from the reservoir. Oh, look at this. The water is actually changing direction and most of it's going down this way. And it might be because of, oh, it's probably the flow patterns really. Because it's going up there. Is that why? No, maybe. Actually, it did change direction. We need to close this off. This is important now. So I'll let them finish this one. Let's see. This is almost done, I think. Oh, they still need one more uh, platform there to get that working. Let's just make sure that we have this on priority. There we go. Let's put that on high priority so they get that going. But yeah, we're these are now going really slow. It has to do, I think, with how we change the water flow here because we blocked off this because it's behind a dam. It's now going there. And for whatever reason, it's now going around this area instead of through. And that is bad. That is a bad, bad thing. It's bad, really bad. Let's see these though. The water height is much higher than it used to be. Oopsie. No, 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 don't do that. Oh, I hate that. I want to unbind those keys immediately. Let's put these up at height. So it doesn't escape. Okay, so we're those. This should be a closed pool right now. Okay, that works. That works. Yeah. All right. So this basically water is flowing in here through the dam that we have here. Oh, wow. And we have no power. This is so bad. All right. All right. So we need to... Let's see, that is not done yet. We need, we really need those planks. Desperately need the planks. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. All right, and this is also not ideal. We probably don't want to build a Lido on this side <laughs> right now, at least. Because um, now this entire section has been walled off. And there is no water there. So that isn't going to affect these trees, I guess. Should be okay. But we actually have a pool now here. This is this is now could be a good site for an aquatic farm. Um, if the water doesn't dry out during the, the dry season. So we could start farming here. Oh, we do have dams here though. Oh, there are a few dams here. Okay, that's interesting. So we are getting a little bit of water flow through the dams. That way. All right. Fun. All right. So they are working on this, which is great. They're waiting for materials. So since that already has all the materials, I'm going to put this on high priority because we need to get that done. Definitely need to stop this water flowing this way. We want it to flow through the water wheels. Really important that, that happens. 
Oh my goodness, this is rough. Rough for them. All right, we have one windmill here. But yeah, I think we need to build some stuff. We need to build this thing. I'm going to go ahead and build these uh, bits and pieces here. Oopsies, not that one. I think we'll go... We'll have them go this way. Let's pause this one and that one. So that they can build those pieces. But yeah, I'm th th thinking we might even need more, more beavers on the job here. Now, we have houses coming into being... But there's no walkways for them to uh, st go into the houses. We can't delete the other houses yet, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. So yeah, we're going to try to divert the flow of this river. That was really unexpected. I did not expect that. That one of these, you know, closing up one of these areas was going to make such a massive, massive change in the river like that. But it's kind of cool. I love watching the water dynamics in this game. It's really great. Okay, so that is... It's slowly closing it off, and these wheels are turning more and more. So that's good. Oh, oh, even more. Even less water can get through. That's the important part. And now, we're also going to have a pathway whereby they don't have to go through the water, which is important too. All right, water containers are starting to fill up completely. And this one has all almost... Well, not almost all the gears. It has some gears. About half. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is cool. This is great. Okay, so we have water flowing that way. We have water also flowing this way. Making those wheels spin. Okay, so there is some water going here. I'm kind of wondering if I should put in a proper floodgate through here or not. But no, look at this water. Look at that speed. It's going pretty well. Very nice. So the whole network, so it's making, these are 120 uh, hamster power. But it does look like a lot of the water is going this way. And I'm wondering if, if we can kind of trap water going down here, if we make further walls down this way and kind of prevent it. We do have that walled off. It's going to be kind of interesting how this is going to function. As long as it produces something, I guess, we're going to be having a good time here. So let's see. We have... Yeah, they kind of are slowing up a tiny bit. I feel like we do need more of these guys. And that also includes... Oh, well, the wind mine is not working at the moment. But we have mostly enough power here. Okay, logs are functioning. Planks are not. So that warehouse is also... Uh, up and running, which is great. Okay, these poor beavers have to sleep out in the cold. I could give them a house. Let's see, we have four beavers. Is there anything? I guess we could do a three and a one. Wait, did that beaver die? Hello? Homeless. Carries nothing. Wait, we should have four beavers working at any time here. At every, all the times, every time. Let's see, let's add a path there so we can add two houses and get the mini lodge which is not very expensive just add that there and then add a regular beaver house here like that and the beavers can work on those things well actually do we need it we don't need it they're done they're done woo okay all right so beavers can be transferred back Let's move them back, migrate them back to District 1. All four, go. Yep. Oh boy. Okay, so we have we have houses, but I feel like, yeah, we don't have the stairs happening with the houses, so that's not ideal. But I feel like the next thing we need to do, let's do, uh, we're getting this. Okay, that's great. Then I think what I want to do is I want to... I want to do this level of stuff here, like these and the the underground of these. I Yeah, we might as well just do the whole lot there. Um, what else are we doing on priority? 
on light priority here. Um, let's do these walkways because that's super important. Definitely. Okay. Got to just do the whole thing there underneath. I'm kind of sad they took out the priority for bushes and stuff. That's weird. That's really strange, I feel. Okay, so that's fine. That will work uh, if we get those planks moved over there. And these plank makers are working. We have uh, plenty of energy here. Wow, 510 power, which is great. All right, what do we have here? We have carrots, we have grilled chestnuts, and grilled potatoes. We were going to work on wheat, I believe. So they are, they should, okay, it's still growing. It's just really slow. But we know that. We, we know it's uh, wheat is very slow. Now, uh, we have tons of water right now. So we don't need to worry about anything else. I guess we just work on science points right now. That's a, that's an idea. All right, there we go. I really want to get these houses going, connected and stuff so that they can, we can delete this temporary housing blocks. I'm, I'm not a fan of those right now. And somebody reminded me of my plan to build them at the, the edges to share monuments and stuff. And yes, we should do that, but I don't know when. <laughs> I don't know what's going to what's gonna happen. Let's see. We can look at leisure again and let's see a temple. Oh, wait, no. I want to get science. We want to get proper science going. I wonder if they work at night. Is that a thing? They probably should. Oh, wow. This is expensive, this Lido. But hopefully they can do stuff. We'll put that on high priority so that they can... Actually, it's not... No, 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 no. It only is growth 5%, I believe, right? So it's actually not worth putting on a high priority. We'll put it on just normal priority. Okay, many beavers are doing many things. They are just living in sort of leisure times, these beavers. Uh, I also want to get this on priority as well. Light priority. Actually, we'll put this on kind of high priority, these two. I don't know why it puts the wind mine on that priority, but it does. And we'll also get these things going. Hello. Thank you, game. Good, good, good. And these water wheels will build from this staircase going in there. I think that will work very, very nicely. We might want to have a way of controlling this water in here. Because it is a significant flow going through here right now. I'm thinking we take away this staircase. And what we do is instead put in some floodgates like here. Uh, so that we can absolutely control this, whether we want, you know, the full dam thing to come in or we want to close it off completely. I think that's important to do. And if we can get stuff, I don't know, flowing well or whatever, we can probably have this be our aquatic farming. Though this, I don't know, have we closed this off completely from here? We have. Okay, so I want to see how long this gigantic new reservoir lasts. Oh, this could be crazy good. Now then, this also gives us the opportunity here. I think we want to make maybe a recreational area here. We can have farming, swimming amongst the cattails, that kind of thing. Like if we add here, instead of making this a an underground road, we could make it a... Um, some platforms on the side, some farms, a little bit of space, maybe. Let's see. We like the look of the cattails and the spatter dock. So I think I'm going to make something fun over here. I want to kind of plant stuff so that it looks natural. Wait, not there. Cattails. Let's see. What is this looking like? Can we see? <laughs> we can't actually see this until it's built, can we? So if we put in like a couple of cattails there, maybe like this kind of thing and a bit of spatter dock around it so it looks kind of fun natural maybe ish uh, and then have some open spaces now then how do we want to have this so we we can have the platform right next to it or we can have it one off and i think the one off is where we want to go with this let's see can i i want to delete this thing here 
So this is actually going to be a lot easier for us, I think, to just add um, platforms this way along here. And that gives us the opportunity also to have a farm somewhere in here. Uh, maybe some more water thingies. I don't know if the mud bath is a water thing or not. Okay. Mechanically infused with bubbles. It needs, uh, it needs power, this. So we probably will have to put it somewhere interesting. But yeah, until then. Yeah, see, some of these water wheels are actually struggling here, and that's not ideal. It does look like some of those bottom ones have been built. Have they been built, actually? Hello? Water, go away. Yes, they have. Okay, so these are actually built down here. That's nice. Okay. And we'll put the water back in. Okay, very nice. It's pretty cool, all this stuff. Okay, so these got built. Yay. Now then, we put in another shaft here. Okay, we'll just stick this like that. Put that on high so that it gets built pronto. This uh, water tank got built, which is great. Also, we're just p filling that up now. Our water is rising significantly, which is fantastic. But I think we'll also put a small priority on those guys. Actually, we'll put this on high priority so that these get finished first. And we can kind of see what we want to do here. I am so curious if a water, if a reservoir this size will survive so that we can have farming in this area. Or if we're going to need to have like a water pump there. Can we actually get the water pump in here? I don't know. Um, Stream gauge. Oh, current speed. Oh, they added that. That's fun. Ah, yes, we can get a mechanical water pump in here. Fun. Okay, cool. That is super cool. Super cool, nice, great, yay. So beavers heading home. Beavers doing their beavery thing. I'm so sad that they removed the aesthetics bonus. That's that's a bit weird, weird sad, but it's okay. I mean, what can you do, right? Oh, I guess we're gonna get to test our, <laughs> our thing here shortly. Whether this will hold for a whole season or not. I guess it depends how many days. So if this is, you know, 0.7 of a voxel, and a voxel loses water every 20 days, surface evaporation, I guess it will last a 20-day drought. Well, not, not 20 days, but 0.7 of 20 days. So 70% of 20 days is... 0.7 times there are several. It's, what, 14 days? Is that right? Maybe. Yeah, I think that's right. I think for, it'll, it should last 14 days. And I think the longest drought you can have with uh, normal mode is 15 days. That could be a bit hairy though with the, with stuff. Let's see, we'll put this, uh, uh, whoa, 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 okay. Okay, it was like, yo, we don't like this. Let's see if it smushes the water elsewhere. It should smush it back that way. I don't know though, we might end up uh, with a few drowned buildings here. Okay, so this is closed off right now. This is water closed off. Could open it to half height, but now look at these wheels. They are now spinning like crazy. We have much more energy than before. So that's good. It's kind of what we wanted. We might want to open them like, I don't know, half or something to fill this area as much as possible. Okay, so this is also going to dry out as we have less water coming in, but that is expected. Okay, let's pause one of these buildings. So this is going to be wheat, but we don't actually have any wheat yet. So let's pause that. And we have this. What do we got here? We have, whoa, we're lacking a worker? Dang. How? Wait, how can that be? Hold on. Why are we lacking? Oh, because we don't have a road there. Yeah, let's put that road in important okay road here yay okay so now we have a new planks maker who should be working on planks we have a few planks working okay look at this cool let's unpause this and that and put those on they are on higher priority 
so that we can get a little bit more wind power in this area. wonder if it's worth adding a power shaft here. I don't know. Let's see. To get a windmill over here, maybe. This would work if we put a levee there. Just add a tiny little thing there. One levy, and maybe, does it matter? Let's put it on a platform. I guess it doesn't matter if it's levy or platform since the water probably is gonna leak out anyway, but it's okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. I think we also might wanna get large windmills very shortly because they will also help out the situation, but I'm gonna try to, maybe we shouldn't use many windmills. Maybe they should just be complete total backup kind of thing. Okay, drought is coming soon. As soon as we get the, the drought to happen, I'm going to lift up these gates. All right, but things are happening. We are getting these housing thingies built. They're slowly, slowly building the platforms here. And it is slow. <laughs> Boy, is it slow. It is going quite slow. I'm just waiting for those, you know, signs of the housing to go away so that we can uh, clear out some of the other houses that we don't need anymore. Oh, looking good, looking good. Let's see, I can also connect this road this way. Now, I'm not sure if we want to have these. Let's just pause these water pumps for now. And I'm going to pause the other... Let's just go down a couple levels here. I want to click this one. We want to pause all of these. Oh my god, that's going to be a lot of pausing, but it's okay. I should probably just delete them and not have to go through this annoying bit of like pausing them all, but it's okay. Just planning. Oh, we have a kitten. Hello, kitten. How you doing? Kitten's fabulous. Thank you very much. All right. So what do we need here? We have, let's see, grilled spider dock. We have potatoes, chestnuts, and carrots. Is there anything that we're not producing. Okay, so we're not using cattail roots. We do have a little bit of cattail flour and ah, we were going to do this thing, I think. This was going to be our cattail crackers. So if we build this, oh no, I don't want to build that. It's actually, I do want to build this. It's almost done. This large warehouse is actually almost complete. So we have a little bit, well, a little bit more, yeah, planks. <laughs> tiny, tiny miniature bits of planks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 40 more. It'll be fine. But I feel like we're really good to survive the next drought. We have all of our water tanks full. We have 1,400 water right now. So that's great. That's pretty great. Now then, this thing is... We need to add a bridgey bridgey over here. And do, though, should we instead make it some other way? I think this is good. I think we just, we want to have kind of an open water area where we have some plants growing. It's going to be a farm area. Kind of like what I wanted for this area, except it ended up being that this is, well, you know what? This might actually not, not um, do poorly. Now, the reason I say that is because we now have the water trapped for the most part. So this could be really good. We may not need another farm area. It's a shame because I actually want lots and lots of farms because I think they're so cool. They're, I love those underwater plants, the new stuff. It's really good. Makes me happy to see them. Okay, folks, what are we doing here? I guess we're lacking planks. Is that what's going on here? How are we doing with this stuff? Yeah, that's on priority. And it's just more and more planks. I feel like if we get... Let's put this on high priority, this plank maker. Because I think that's what we're really lacking. We're lacking the planks. And we are... We have enough builders as well at this point, I think. We just don't have enough planks. Okay, this is shuttered because of the lack of windmills. Or windmill power, I should say. 
Okay, we just need... We need stuff. We need all the stuff. Wait, what happened here? Can we not get up here? Hold on. Oh, you know what? I never put a thing here. Oh, no wonder they can't get up here. Jeez. Okay. Extra points if you noticed. <laughs> okay. I did not notice. I forgot that we never put a path up here. Silly, silly me. Oh, jeez. I'm glad we caught it, though. That's good. So put that on priority and this on priority. Because they have built all the rest. They built it from underneath, which is very funny. Kind of a silly thing. Oh, oh, are we are we lacking water power? Hello? What's going on with the water? Water. Okay, I'm going to put this up because this is obviously an issue with stuff here. The water wheels are not spinning because they have not enough water going through. All right, this is the perfect time to close this area, though, because it's going to give us some... Yeah. And now we can test and see how how well this area survives. It doesn't look like it actually has much water in it. Is something going on here with this? Where did all the water go? Why is it so shallow now? That is so weird. This should be at 0.7, but it doesn't look like it at all. Let's put in a... I want a, I want a depth marker immediately here. Let's see, where is it? Uh, it's underwater. Yes. Depth marker. Stream gauge. Yes. Let's stick one right here. Okay. And put that on high. Really high. All right. I guess we're going to have to check it in the next episode because unfortunately we have run out of time. But anyway, um, thank you so very much for joining me. We're going to find out what happens in the next episode. So take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.